bad things like from an impact perspective you know trying to look at a broad coalition of mm. parents and providers and, and professionals all working within the sector there's a lot that we can take from it you know with the extra the extra ECCE year is obviously a good thing for for parents but maybe leaves a bit to be desired for mm. for those working in the sector yeah and I think it's beneficial that the government are ad- identifying that there's a need to invest in early education. There's a need to look at the services that are in place. But I think the conversation around quality early education and putting that focus on early educators mm. and those working broadly across the sector has been left behind, unfortunately. Mm. And ultimately, <clears throat> the, the increase in investment in the sector, we don't know how much of that is going to cover the cost of you know, non-contact time, mm. any extra admin for, for the, the extra ECC year. Mm. Um, and ultimately, none of that investment is going into salary scales. It's not going into yeah. increased pay, which is desperately needed in the sector. So we're not seeing that move towards a, a graduate-led workforce that Impact would be, would be looking yeah. for. And I did notice that in the budget, there's a 7% increase in the capitation mm. fee. Um, so I think the increase in the capitation is important because the way that services have been operating, because of that lack of investment, a lot of the s- services had been su- subsidising mm. early education on a, on a much broader level. Um, so I think it is important that we recognise advances that have been made, but unfortunately I think they're very far from where we're advo- advocating and that we need 125 million on a year by year basis to be put into early education mm. to bring us to where a quality early education sector is in place for parents, for children, but also for early educators. Mm.